If two shapes are the same shape, but not necessarily the same size, we say that they are similar. Some shapes are always similar. For example, all squares are similar. Squares can be different sizes, of course, but they are all the same shape. In fact, any two regular polygons with the same number of sides are similar. For example, these regular octagons are similar. Circles have the same property. They are all the same shape, so they are all similar. Other shapes may or may not be similar. For example, these two rectangles are similar, but only because they have the same width to height ratio. Both rectangles are one and a half times as tall as they are wide. These two hexagons are similar. They are at different rotations, but they are still the same shape. These two quadrilaterals are also similar. One is flipped horizontally compared to the other, but that doesn't mean they aren't the same shape. These two rectangles are not similar. They are both rectangles, so each has four angles of 90 degrees. But they don't have the same width to height ratio, so they are different shapes. These two rhombuses are not similar. A rhombus has four equal sides, but these two shapes have different angles, so they are different shapes. There are two equivalent ways to check if two polygons are similar. The first is to look at the corresponding sides and angles of the two shapes. If every pair of angles are equal, and every pair of sides have the same ratio, the shapes are similar. A second way is to try mapping one shape onto the other. If one shape can be mapped onto the other by any combination of scaling, translation, rotation and reflection, they are similar. The scaling must be uniform. We must use the same scaling factor in the x and y directions. For shapes that aren't polygons, such as circles, we can't compare angles and side length, so we must use the second method. Here is an example of two similar isosceles trapeziums. Using the first test we can compare the length of the sides. The base lengths are A and 2A. The sides are B and 2B. The top edge is C and 2C. This means that every side of the larger shape is twice the length of the equivalent side on the smaller shape. So all the side lengths have the same ratio, which is 2 in this case. If we look at the angles, the two angles at the base of the large shape are equal to the two angles at the base of the small shape. And the two angles at the top of the large shape are equal to the two angles at the top of the small shape. So the four corresponding angles in both shapes are equal. This proves that the shapes are similar. We can use the second test to prove that the two shapes are similar. If we scale the large shape down by a factor of 2, then translate it, it will map onto the small shape. It is sometimes useful to know the scale factor between two shapes. We can find this by comparing the lengths of any pair of corresponding sides. In this case, taking side A, the scale factor F is 2A divided by A. This gives a scale factor of 2. We always divide the larger side by the smaller side, so the scale factor is always greater than or equal to 1. If two shapes are congruent, that is they have the same size and shape, the scale factor will be 1. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or visit graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.